Right in the mirror. We changed our fries to make hot and crispy. Every single time. Hot fries. Every single time, Kobe and Sissy, I fry. Hot fries. 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 Hot is it me or does everyone auditioning for this health insurance commercial look the same? It's not you. Health insurance companies see us all the same. Well, so good. Well, except you, man. They see me. After my back surgery, you man is sent a home health nurse for five days. Help me get set up, show me how manage my man. They even sent me a week's worth of healthy virgin meals. Get out. What do I do? Better care begins with listening. Humana, a more human way to health care. Sweetie? Gotta yeah, like the ingredients to today's seven three leaders. We go bottom nine. And here's a look at the pair of home runs. Look at the distance that carries on those babies. Great to see. And the other side, the defense just outstanding. J.P. Crawford, watch this relay. There, Jesse Winker gets it started, and then it's on the money. Perfect throw, easy jam. Here's another play. Guy did play in a line drive to take a base hit away. And then this play right here is just off the chart. <laughs> he was a much not an infield guy and senior year smoked ground ball. Wow. And I know your appreciation is off the chart for that. Yes. Well, Seawall is in. He'll be his 43rd appearance. He's pitched well, 259 ERA. What was in just 133 against him? His fastball at 93 miles an hour in that slider. 41 and two thirds. He has 47 strikeouts over 11 walks. He gets Ben and Cindy, Torres and Hicks. Lefty, ready and a switch hitter. He's not lefty against them. Talked about it a couple of innings ago, but typically you wouldn't see Paul here, I don't think. They got the four runs, but you have to remember Aaron Judge is on the bench, and I think Scott Service just wants to keep the traffic to a minimum. Win this one and then worry about Judge next Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday in Seattle. Part of two. See what's got been attending one, two. Five ball. Winker, plenty of room. No problem. One down. Bears will be coming home. They get the Angels. They got the Yankees coming up. Get split double header on Saturday, a 110 start for game number one. We'll see the Yankees again Monday, Tuesday. And we'll get the first matchup with the Angels since the the social gathering they had every game of back in the end of the last time they were there. They're pulling around it right now as we speak to the left to bring the tourists. Pop it up. Beautiful. It's going to be crazy. Two down. Three down for the city. And here comes Aaron Hicks. to the right. Hicks today. 0 for 3. He hit the hard smash that 
Jake Lee Crawford went Superman on and snared that. The first half of the fifth inning. Right on. A pretty good fastball, 93 miles an hour, top of the zone. That's typical for him. It's a fastball at the top and then a slider on the edge of the plate. Inside. Ball to strike. One to one. Two out, nobody on. Seven three Marys. Two and one. Two more pitch. Stays in bound. This is going to be the game right here, and it's going to be a ball game. Adam Frazier puts it away, and the Mariners win it 7 3. They take the series, the first series right. right here at Yankee Stadium since 2016. They come home on a rubber road trip in which they wow. face two of the best teams in baseball they can do. Maybe for the Mariners, they really played well, especially the last couple of days. And seven home runs over the last few days. Six runs in the first inning off of Cole today. Lopez Castillo, it's great to see him out there in his first performance. He's really going to help this ball club. Nice, tough road trip for these guys. Let's come back and win the last two games away that they have. It's been a lot of fun to watch, and now they'll do it a day off tomorrow. It's well earned, well deserved. We'll be back at you against the Angels on Friday to open up the homestand. Yeah, thanks for joining in the. Shut down a big crowd here, 42,169. We're Mike Flowers. I'm Dave Sims. Thanks for joining us, everybody. And this post game starts right now with Angie and Bill. Folks. Guys, thanks so much. Appreciate it. Four straight perfect outings by Paul Sewell. You know, things started off so wonky on this trip. Dropping three or four to the Houston Astros, but taking two or three from the best team in baseball. What a nice way to end the trip. It's a nice rebound and uh, critical to their playoff drive is to start beating teams that are in front of them. Yeah, the uh, Mariners uh, came out uh, just sprinting out of the gates yesterday, then did the same today. You pointed out they need to outslug these Yankees, and you're looking forward to their key to the game, and they did once again. Well, I don't know if I could say that, it, it, prophetically say that I thought they would outslug them. But they needed the field. That would be everybody outside of Rodriguez, France, and Canada to do some things. And boy, in there, for the second straight night, Suarez gets the party started with a home run. And then Carl Santana, three out of the yesterday, and he back likes Garrett Cole. A long home run to right center. They just park with Tiny, and the Bears are off and running, and they're not finishing the first inning because. This was a woodshed event. I mean, Jared Kelnick. How about him staying on a change up the way and hooking in the seats? Two run homer for Kelnick. And the Mariners pulled a six spot in the first inning. Three home runs. Who could have predicted it? Baseball, the strangest game. The number one ace starter. It's like, it's like uh, imagining, uh, you, you know, uh, the best basketball player or the best football player. Uh, to come out of a game in the first half or the first quarter. It never happened, but it's an ace pitcher can be knocked out in the first inning. He didn't get taken out, but clearly knocked out in this instance. Yeah. Hey, uh, I was kind of lobbying for Perry Hill to be the walk-off interview because of the plays that uh, JP was making today. I saw ball hit dirt in the first inning. Uh, all kinds of great stuff. He's standing by with our crowd out of well, you know he's gonna, he's, you know he's gonna credit Perry Hill. But before we get to that, my friend Jake Crawford, and that was an unbelievable baseball game for this team and for you. You do a little bit of everything. Let's start offense. First inning, you're facing one of the best pitchers in baseball. Their ace. You guys get six runs, three home runs in the first inning. What were you guys looking for? How were you able to do that? You know, Derek Cole's a great pitcher and uh, he has really electric stuff. So we're we're trying to get on him early. You know, trying to you know not miss the fastball, uh, especially right one right over the plate. And, uh, you know, we, we executed Frazier, we seen that really well, you know, got things started, and then good A.B. by Jesse, and then Gino just crushing up in the first inning with that home run, and then Love's doing it for 15 years or so, you know, kept the new there, and then, yeah, we, we came up with a good start, and, you know, set the tone early. Set the 
on it, and the Yankees get a run in the second, and they're looking for more, and you have that incredible relay throw from short left field to Trent. Tell us, it looked like you are a little off balance. How did you get it and fire a strike home like that? Couldn't tell you. No, yeah, man, that's kind of slippery out there. I lost my footing a little bit, but uh, I gotta get that ball home. But thankfully, I got enough on it, and uh, Louis put a good tackle. All right, so I think fans out there are trying to figure out their their best play, their favorite play that you made today. The, the diving stop, that throw. How about the short hop on Donaldson? Do you have a favorite play of yours today? Yeah, uh, I can't lie. I'm 